Hi friends, this is Manish Khanna. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple, easy and the most uh, yummiest uh, uh, praline travel cake. It's very easy to make. It tastes divine. And I'm sure if you make it and you serve it to all your loved ones or even use it in your business, you will get rave reviews for it. So let's get started. For the almond praline travel cake, we'll be using butter, sugar, vanilla essence, sour cream. I have normal all-purpose flour, almond flour, baking powder, baking soda. For the praline, we will be using sugar, almonds and a little oil. For the rocher uh, glaze, we'll be using dark chocolate, oil and roasted almonds which we will chop up. So first uh, we will mix the flour, the almond flour, the baking powder and the baking soda and we will mix this properly till it is well mixed. I have taken the butter and melted it and put it in a bowl. To this I will add the sugar, the vanilla essence and the sour cream and mix this thoroughly once this is mixed well i will add in the flour mixture into this and gently fold it till we have a smooth batter So now this batter is ready to be baked. We'll be using a travel loaf tin for this. So the travel loaf tin is with the rod inside. I have greased it and lined it with the butter paper and I'll put the batter into this. So in the tin, I will be putting my batter. Once I have put the whole batter inside, just tap it slightly. so that your batter is evened out and we will put it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. I have taken the sugar in a pan. I am just putting in 1 tablespoon of water and I am starting to heat this uh, uh, sugar because we are going to be making the praline. We have to make uh, heat the sugar till it is golden in color and then we will put in the almonds. We are basically making nougat or praline and that we will uh, you know puree it with a little oil to get the praline paste. Once we have reached the golden color I will switch off the hot plate. We will put in the almonds inside and mix it. The almond that we have made I will drop it on a silicon mat and leave it uh, aside for it to cool down and set. Next we will be making the rocher glaze. So I have the dark chocolate oil and the chopped uh, almonds. I will melt this chocolate in the microwave. Once the oil is mixed properly in the chocolate. We will add in the chopped almonds, mix this and keep it aside till uh, we use this to glaze. The praline that we had made earlier, the nuga has set. We will break this now, put it into a mixer and powder this uh, to make the praline paste. Uh, I will uh, blend this till it gets into a proper smooth powder. Once it has become into a powder, I will add the oil that I had said earlier. Add just a little first and blend it again till it starts becoming a liquidy paste. The praline paste is now ready. As you can see, it's become into a paste. This I will put it into a piping bag and leave it aside to fill the cake. The cake is done. Now we need to unmold it for which we will just twist the pipe gently and pull it out. 
once this is done we will unmold the cake the cake has been unmolded and now we will start filling it once it's cooled down my normal method you block one side with a little buttercream and level it so that when you fill it from the other side it does not leak out so once this is done this is the proline paste which we had made earlier i am filling it make sure that the proline paste is filled all the way through so that you get a nice smooth layer throughout and once the paste has been filled you again cover it up with the buttercream like we did on the other side okay so now it's filled so i will just put a little buttercream and just close this side so that it doesn't ooze out now this cake we will put in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes to cool down slightly before we glaze it i have cleaned the work surface and i've kept my cooling rack on top the cake is cooled so now i will pour this the rocher glaze on top and cover the whole cake once this is done just let it drip on its own and uh, we will keep this aside in a cool place for about 20 25 minutes or you can even put it in the fridge at this time for about 5 minutes for the glaze to set the icing as you see has set this cake is ready to eat if you want you can eat it the way it is or you can just maybe you know pipe it with a little butter icing and decorate it on top so i'm just taking normal butter icing and just decorating on top with the little chocolate garnish and since it's an almond praline and uh, 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 almond praline cake we can put in a little bit of the almond flakes too for decorating so i will just take a little almond flakes and just put a little to give it that extra richness the cake is ready to enjoy just slice this delicious cake and enjoy a slice yum सब्सक्राइब कीजिए हमारे चैनल को और प्रेस कीजिए बेल आइकन ताकि हम लाते रहें आपके लिए सिंपल बेकिंग रेसिपीज़